Hey everybody, how's it going? Daryl here, welcome to the channel. So my good friends at Sheds asked me which of their fixtures I would like to review and they told me I could review anything I wanted. So I posed a poll on Instagram and this was the number one thing that people asked me to review. The Galaxy Jet LED Beam 300 watt and these are moving head hybrids. So basically it's a beam, it's a spot, it's a wash, it's all in one and it's a one nice compact package. Well, compact dish. So this is my second time having a hybrid mover. My other ones were the, the Chauvet DJ 140SR hybrids and those lights were very big but they felt really premium. They were really nice. They had some really nice functionality but they were pretty expensive priced at over $1,600 a unit and these guys are less than one third that price. So I'm seeing if we can capture some of the same functionality and just a more quirky shell <laughs> and they're extremely large and they have a very interesting shape so yeah I'm very excited to try these things out today and if you're looking to pick up one of these I'll have a link in the description below where you can buy these from Sheds Direct so when you buy one of these moving head hybrids you get a DMX cable and a power cable you get some mounting hardware some mounting brackets a safety cable and a manual. So my first impression after unboxing this thing is, wow, this thing is a very weird shape. <laughs> As you can see, it is very skinny, but this moving head thing is very long. So yeah, that is very interesting, very unique. And the weight is distributed somewhat evenly. Like usually in a moving head, like a lot of the weight is distributed on the bottom, but this just seems to be heavy all over the place. So this is too big to fit on my scale, but the specs say it's about 27 pounds. With it pointing to the ceiling, it's just over 21 inches and about 18 inches tall with the mover facing forward. From handle to handle, it's about 12 inches wide and about eight inches deep. So looking at the physical specs, it has a handle on each side, so that's pretty nice. On the head here, you have this nice branding. It says 300 LED 3-in-1 Galaxy Jet. You can see inside the mover right there. This is actually pretty skinny but it's pretty long. On the side here, it has a couple of fans. It has that on each side. On the sides here, usually you see some sort of branding, but this one doesn't have any. And we have a four button LCD panel, as well as an error and a DMX light indicator. And on the back here, we have DMX in and out, power con in and out, as well as an off and on switch. And on the bottom, we have this metal bracket for your safety cable, as well as spots for your mounting hardware brackets with that are quick lock and these four big rubber feet. Man, that is long. This part is like 14 inches long. Also worth mentioning, there's some sheds branding right here. So the power source of this mover is an LED. It's made of a heat resistant plastic. The beam angle can go as narrow as 3.5 degrees and go all the way to 38 degrees. Has a nine color color wheel plus white and of course you can do split colors it has six rotating gobos and seven static ones it says it can pan 450 degrees which i don't know it feels like it's a full 520 and it says it can tilt the full 270 which is important when you put these on totems i i think that's 270 I still need to find a better way to measure that. It has a nine facet prism. It has a frost to give it that soft wash type effect. And you can control this in auto, sound active, or DMX. And I'll be demonstrating it in DMX, possibly auto. All right, let's go ahead and turn this thing on and go over to the menu. So we have various menus. So this is advanced menu that's password protected. I don't think we'll need to mess with that too much. So there's this standard menu, so you can change like the DMX address as well as the DMX mode. And there's like a few other settings that aren't super relevant to what we're going to do. You can like invert the X and Y. You can invert the focus and the zoom. So we're not super concerned about that. If I ever perform with these, I definitely will use DMX. But for today, I'm just going to use auto mode. So there's info. So there's like various items in here. There's like a serial number. And so there's performance mode. And in the performance mode, there's like an auto mode. You can hear the fan kick on when I engage this so there's dmx there's sound active mode there's auto so we're just going to do auto and i can choose the run speed run cross and so program is like a manual static scene but instead of like telling me which each parameter is it's just going to make me put in dmx addresses for the channels so there's no way to do this without having the manual handy so and what's actually kind of cool is that these static scenes you can save 
So right now this is like Pro 1, so I can just go to the menu for the Pro 1 setting and just engage that, so that is actually pretty cool. But yeah, this is basically it, so let's get to a demo. Just a note, I have these in Master Slave, and this was super easy to set up. So this one is the master, it's playing a static scene right now, but all I had to do was plug in one of the included DMX cables into the DMX in and plug it into the DMX out of this one. All right, what do I think of these Shed's three-in-one moving head lights? So a lot of the nuts and bolts functionality is there. Don't get me wrong, this is pretty bright and it's an LED opposed to a discharge lamp. It is able to do the hybrid functionality, so it's able to have like a very narrow beam and then widen up pretty nicely with the prism as well as the, the zoom and the focus. It doesn't feel as like smooth or as nice, but I mean the functionality is there. Um, the Gobos, I mean, yeah, it has Gobos. Um, the Gobo 1 wheel was all right. And the Gobo 2 wheel, I wasn't quite sure if it was a user error on my end or if I needed to tweak it a bit more because a lot of those Gobos just weren't showing up. And some Gobos were really clear and defined with a certain focus setting and zoom setting. But as soon as I switched to a different Gobo within the same wheel, it just completely was distorted. The price is definitely very good. The form is a little bit wonky. I mean, I was not expecting it to look like this. And the weight distribution is also a little bit wonky, so I don't know if it's my favorite. It is on the heavier side. And as far as other lights that I've reviewed from Sheds, it has some pretty cool functionality. I like that you're able to save several static scenes. So that means if I wanted to use these, to like light up a disco ball for a production gig. I can just save a single static scene and I could just have an operator turn it on and it just goes right there and it's really easy to operate. So a DMX less operation. I think that this is definitely a good idea, but I feel like the implementation is not as polished as maybe the hybrid 140SR, but you get what you pay for. And I think that these overall have pretty good functionality for the price and I think you're getting a lot of value. So what are your thoughts on this moving head spotlight wash beam? Let me know down in the comments below and please smash like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.